Kids, it is so good to be with you today. What has your day been like? Has it been a happy day? Has it been kind of a sad day? Maybe there's been something that's been frustrating for you. Sometimes I feel frustrated. Well, I am glad that you're here and I wanna start our time together by singing a good morning song, all right? You can sing along with me once you learn the words. We're gonna to get to hear every one of your names this morning, all right? So here's how it goes. Hello, everybody, I'm so glad to see you. Hello, everybody, I'm so glad to see you. Hello, Makoa, I'm so glad to see you. Hello, Makoa, I'm so glad to see you. Hello, River, I'm so glad to see you. Hello, River, I'm so glad to see you. Hello, Mr. Ellum, I'm so glad to see you. Hello, Mr. Ellum, I'm so glad to see you. Hello, Mr. Noel, I'm so glad to see you. Hello, Mr. Noel, I'm so glad to see you. Hello, Mr. Freddy, I'm so glad to see you. Hello, Mr. Freddy, I'm so glad to see you. Hello, Miss Maya, I'm so glad to see you. Hello, Miss Maya, I'm so glad to see you. Hello, Micah, I'm so glad to see you. Hello, Mr. Micah, I'm so glad to see you. Hello, Miss Maggie, I'm so glad to see you. Hello, Miss Maggie, I'm so glad to see you. Hello, Mr. Levi, I'm so glad to see you. Hello, Mr. Levi, I'm so glad to see you. Hello, Mr. Rehan, I'm so glad to see you. Hello, Mr. Rehan, I'm so glad to see you. I'm glad to see each and every one of you. Thanks for being here. We are gonna have fun together today. Let's get started. Mmm, isn't that yummy, Mr. Caterpillar? How about a strawberry? Mmm, isn't that just your favorite fruit? Oh no, what's your favorite fruit? Oh, you like grapes? Me too. Here is a whole bunch of grapes for you. Does that make you happy? Okay, mmm. Right, Mr. Caterpillar. Well, I hope you had a good snack. All right, see you later, friend. Oh, hello, preschoolers. I am so glad to see you. It is another day, another day of preschool. You caught me playing with Mr. Caterpillar and my fruit. Look at this fruit. This is some fruit that I made for my daughter's play kitchen. I crocheted this just like I crocheted that blanket I showed you the other day. There's a watermelon. Can you guess what this fruit is? That's a lime. Limes are kind of sour. Oh, here's something that's super sour. Do you know what this is? That's right, that's a lemon. Sometimes people put that in their drinking water. Maybe you had one of these for breakfast. Do you know what this is? That's right, that's a banana. We eat a lot of these in our house. Let's see. Oh, here's another good one. You know what that is? That's supposed to be an apple. Does it look like an apple to you? Yeah. Well, as you can tell from the things that I had out today, 
we are going to be talking about, well, we're going to be reading a book that involves a caterpillar and some fruit or a bunch of different food that he eats. Can you guess what story we're going to be reading together today? We're going to be reading The Very Hungry Caterpillar. How many of you have read The Very Hungry Caterpillar together? All right, well, we're going to read that together today. And then we're going to do some fun activities that have to do with fruit. All right, well, let me get set up and we'll read our story. Thanks for being here, kiddos. The Very Hungry Caterpillar by Eric Carle. In the light of the moon, a little egg lay on a leaf. One Sunday morning, the warm sun came up and pop! Out of the egg came a tiny and very hungry caterpillar. He sure is pretty tiny, isn't he? He started to look for some food. On Monday, he ate through one apple but he was still hungry. On Tuesday, he ate through two pears, but he was still hungry. Let's count to two. One, two. On Wednesday, he ate through three plums, but he was still hungry. Let's count to three kiddos. One, two, three. Good job. What comes after Wednesday? Do you know? Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday. That's right. On Thursday, he ate through four strawberries, but he was still hungry. On Friday, he ate through five oranges but he was still hungry. I forgot to count on the last page. Let's count to five here, okay? One, two, three, four, five. On Saturday, he ate through one piece of chocolate cake, one ice cream cone, one pickle, one slice of Swiss cheese, one slice of salami, one lollipop, one piece of cherry pie, one sausage, one cupcake, and one slice of watermelon. Oh man, that night he had a stomach ache. Now boys and girls, if you were the caterpillar, which thing on this page would you have chosen to eat first? Which one? Well, I happen to love chocolate, so I think I would choose that chocolate pie over there. The next day was Sunday again. The caterpillar ate through one nice green leaf, and after that, he felt much better. Now, he wasn't hungry anymore. And he wasn't a little caterpillar anymore. He was a big, fat caterpillar. He built a small house called a cocoon around himself. He stayed inside for more than two weeks. Then he nibbled a hole in the cocoon, pushed his way out. What did he become? He was a beautiful butterfly. Oh, I love that story. Well, since we are talking about fruits and caterpillars, I thought that we would do a little pattern exercise using some fruit, all right? So I'm gonna put out a couple pieces of fruit and I want you to guess what the next fruit in the pattern would be, okay? We're gonna start with a pink strawberry. Next, we're going to put down a red cherry. Next, 
another pink strawberry. Now, what would go next in this straw in this pattern? Strawberry, cherry, strawberry. What's next? That's right. The next thing in our pattern is a cherry. Good job, kiddos. All right, let's try another one, shall we? We're gonna start with a pink strawberry again. But next, I'm gonna do a red strawberry. Then we're gonna do a pink strawberry. Can you guess what should go next, kiddos? Pink strawberry, red strawberry, pink strawberry. What should go right there? That's right, another red strawberry. Good job. All right, now I think what I'd like to try is to count how many strawberries I have, okay? So I'm gonna put all of these strawberries out for us to see, and we're gonna count them. See how many strawberries we have. All right, can you count with me? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. What comes next? Nine. That's right. Good job. We have nine strawberries. Now, what do you think? Could the very hungry caterpillar eat all nine of those strawberries? What do you think? Mr. Caterpillar thinks that he could. All right. Well, here is what I thought would be fun next for a little activity for us. Do you like to cook? Do you ever help your parents in the kitchen making breakfast or lunch? I wonder what your favorite thing is to make in the kitchen. Hmm. Well, I'll tell you, one of the things that we like in our house a whole lot is fruit salad. Do you ever have fruit salad in your family? Sometimes we'll do it for lunch at our house. And what we do is we take lots of different fruits, berries, apples, bananas, whatever we have really, and we cut them up, we put them in a bowl, and we mix them up with yogurt. And it is so yummy. The yogurt makes it taste like dessert. So I thought that we could make some fruit salad together. So here's what I'm thinking. I'm gonna go and collect a few things from my house to make some fruit salad. Why don't you pause the video and check with your mommy and daddy and see if you have a few different kinds of fruit and some yogurt that you could mix together to make a fruit salad at your house. If you don't have it now, that's okay. You could ask your mommy and daddy to buy those things and you could do it as an activity some other time. So maybe you could just watch the video to see how I do it and then you'll know how to make fruit salad some other time. All right, well, let's go get started. Hi, boys and girls. You know what I decided? I have a lot of berries that grow in my garden. And so I decided that I would pick some of the fruit that we use to put in our fruit salad. And do you see who chose to come along with me? Hi. What's your name? Amelia. This is my daughter, Amelia. How old are you, Amelia? Uh, seven. Seven, and what happened today? My first day of school. Today was Amelia's first day of second grade. How'd it go? Good. It went okay. All right, Millie, you wanna show them what we're picking here? Blueberries. All right, so there's some blueberries down here that we're gonna pick. Show them the strawberries now. Let's 
So down here we have some strawberries. They grow on a different kind of plant. Show them that. There's the strawberry. Mm -hmm. All right. And then what else are we picking, Millie? Some raspberries. All right. Do you see this? There's a couple good ones up there. And raspberries grow on tall canes. All right. Look at all that goodness. We'll pick a few more and then we'll meet you inside, okay? All right, are we ready? Yeah. Okay, you wanna tell them what we have here? What's gonna, what fruit is gonna go into our salad? So we got some from the fridge. We have grapes. We have some grapes that we took from the fridge, not from the yard. We have strawberries. Strawberries that from, we got the yard. from the yard. Three raspberries from the yard. Better than nothing. Mm -hmm. Then we got blueberries and most of them were from the fridge. And some from the yard. Yes. And then what are we gonna mix with the fruit? We're gonna mix these yogurts. Yeah, so I got out two different kinds of yogurt so that you can see. This one is vanilla yogurt. I really like mixing my fruit with vanilla yogurt. But if you don't have that, you might have some gogurts at home and it would be just fine to mix your fruit with a gogurt too. Totally fine. But we're gonna use this one. All right, Millie, so the first thing that we need to do is can make I sure- eat a go -gurt? You can eat a go -gurt when we're done. Okay. okay, so the first thing that we need to do is we need to get these strawberries ready because we don't want to eat the green part, do we? Uh, I can't eat them. You can? Yeah. Well, we're not going to eat them today, okay? So Millie, can you use the knife and cut those green parts off? Mm -hmm. Be very careful. Yeah. Good job. And then why don't you cut that strawberry in half and drop it in the bowl? Way to be careful. All right, can you do that with those other strawberries? Ooh, this one does not seem very good. Well, we won't use that one. So while she's cutting up the strawberries, I'm gonna add these other fruits to our bowl. In go the blueberries. In go the raspberries. The three. In go the grapes. Uh, this one doesn't work. Okay. We're not gonna have a whole lot of strawberries then. That's okay. Just All right, so once we have all the fruit in our bowl, we're gonna take some yogurt. You can use a whole container of yogurt. You can use half a container. It kind of just amount, depends on how much you like yogurt. Mm -hmm. So Millie, you wanna mix that in for me? And when it all mixes together, it's just so yummy. It's like having dessert for lunch. How's it looking? Pretty good. Okay, looks like you want to eat it? Sure. I'll get a spoon. So here, doesn't that just look like fruit and ice cream? I smelled something delicious. Oh, look who came to try some. It's Daddy. Can you get a spoon out and let Daddy have a taste? Can I have a bite? Yeah, here. Yeah. Okay, you can be our taste tester. Gotta get, make sure I get different. I got blueberries and strawberries. I can get you a bigger spoon. No, Don't forget spoon. a grape. Oh, great. Yep, and a big grape. Okay, here we go. Mmm, mmm. Oh, that is delicious. Is that? Thank hey, you. You're welcome. Oh, very good. All right, kiddos. Now you can try to make fruit salad at home. We hope you have fun. Mm -hmm.